Hello guys, um, this is, um, me again obviously, but, okay, the PS4, and, um, the PS4 has, um, the official specs leaked, well not leaked, they're official on the Sony website, you can actually go there and see for yourself if you do not believe me, <laughs> but they are supposed to have an, uh, 8 core Jaguar CPU, 8 gigs of GDR, GDDR5 uh, shared memory, so it's not just graphics, or it's not just CPU memory, it's it's for the whole system, it's shared, and it's going to have an integrated uh, graphics unit, and um, this is bad and it's good for a couple different reasons, obviously, it's not going to have as good of a graphics card as it could, but uh, you're going to, it's going to be able to fit in a lot smaller uh, form factor, and it's going to be a lot cheaper. And it's not actually that bad because one of the one of the main uh reasons why um APUs on the market today aren't that good is because they have to use GD and they have to use DDR3 memory as um their video memory because obviously they don't have it built in. Um and it it bottlenecks it in quite a few different ways and with the GD, GDDR5 shared memory, it's going to have, um, 8 gigs is more than enough for the whole system, and it's going to have fast RAM to take advantage of for the games. And that's great, because you're going to basically get a, a decent graphics processing, and it's going to be a, a small form factor. Um, it'll be... It'll be great for uh, a console, and um, there, there's a few good things about the next gen consoles that might hurt or might make PC games better. Well, one thing that's gonna happen is, uh, or one thing that I'm a little worried about is the eight core Jaguar. It's it's not very power. It's not a very powerful um, singer single uh, core performance chip, and um, basically what I think is gonna happen is it's going to have eight weak cores and something like a an like an intel quad core it's just going to be um it's just going to run into issues because it's going to want the game's going to want more cores even though an, an i5 has really strong powerful single core performance and it should be more than enough but it's uh it might not be because if you take for example grand theft auto 4 um, since it's a console port, it was made for Xbox originally, and it likes having three cores. And what's happened is really strong Intel dual cores, which should be more than enough to run the game. It, it doesn't look that great to justify the performance of it. And basically what happens is the Intel dual core just it doesn't run the game properly like you might be able to get good frame rates but the game it just stutters and lots of other issues because the xbox version has three cores and that's what the game's optimized for obviously games should be written for each gaming platform dividedly but uh... It, it's not just it's just not how the how the world works obviously it's all about the money which is understandable but at the same time uh... I mean, I think you just owe you owe your customers. I think they make more than enough money. They they deserve the customers deserve a good part. Um, I think um, yeah, they're not gonna have uh seventy nine seventy in there, but um, the APU with the GDDR five shared memory is going to be um. It's going to be great because uh now I think PC um PC games might have a chance to look a lot better because the the consoles won't be holding it back as much. Obviously PCs are um especially uh mid to high end PCs are still significantly better than what a PS4 would be. The PS4 is going to be like eight steps beyond the PS3 in graphics terms. So they're gonna have better, um, better quality ports overall, 
and just a better experience for um, the PC players and for the console uh, players. Um, yeah, obviously you can build a PC that's going to be more powerful than a PS4 for around the same price as what the PS4 is going to be on launch and the games are going to be cheaper. But, um, yeah, obviously, you know, I, I sit here and sham down on the PS4, but um, it's a great system. Um, consoles are great platforms, and I don't want to hate on them. A lot of people have them. Uh, consoles are great because they um, it they concentrate on the living room experience, um, the social experience, and uh, it's easy. Like, I mean, just the other day, I was having trouble on Black Ops 2 because... I needed to, my drivers were getting screwed up because um, there was a driver update and it fixed one problem, but it just caused another. You don't have to worry about that in the console. Um, Sometimes some games are better played on a console, uh, racing games especially. I think first-person shooters are better on the PS on the PC. Um, the controls are just like better it's just my opinion if you if you have a different opinion you go uh feel free to disagree um i mean we're all human so uh everybody has their own opinion <clears throat> this gameplay right here it's not that great um i used to be be able to get 100 pluses and i used to be really good or well not really good but i used to be a, a strong player and um but I just don't play Call of Duty that much anymore. Um, I bought it for the PC, obviously, because I want to play it. But when I do play, it's just for like an hour or two a day. or Well, not two hours a day, but just like an hour. And I, I'll play like every other day. I'll play for like an hour. Except for this weekend, obviously, because of double XP. But it's just uh, Black Ops 2 just doesn't deliver the same kind of experience that I had when I played Black Ops 1. Um, leave a comment. What's your favorite Call of Duty? I mean, this is just my opinion. Uh, I know a lot of people like Modern Warfare 2. Uh, it's not a bad game. I'd, it's personally not my favorite, but um, it is some people's favorite. And, um, yeah. Um, this is coming to an end, but uh, my conclusion is that basically... Consoles are definitely getting better. The next gen consoles are going to be great. Um, yeah, like people say, yeah, the, the PC is still going to be light years ahead. But these consoles are going to be light years ahead of the old consoles, which is which is really what you need to aim for because it it means a lot more than people think. But the the next games that coming out in the next year are just going to be off the wall. I think Call of Duty is going to die um, to another game because it's a new console. Call of Duty started when the Xbox PS3 came out. Well, it didn't start, but it it took off and became really popular when it came out. So hopefully we get some new games, some fresh new games, and just a lot more. Like It's going to be big for the gaming industry in the next year or so. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys uh, liked it.